Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that um, we in the vintage business call architectural salvage. And I've tried to give you a fairly good example uh, with the items I have here on my table. And essentially what it means is it's just where you take items um, or parts of items that are in a house or in a room and they get deconstructed and you take pieces of those things that you found and you try to incorporate them in some new way into your decor. So um, I picked up some things over the weekend that I kind of wanted to talk about and that's these larger pieces here in the back and they're interesting because um, you can see they're very heavy and they're very ornate, but they've got these mounting brackets. This one has a mounting bracket right here, so it's obviously part of a larger piece. But actually, I noticed that there's a bolt right here. You could easily take this bracket off if whatever you wanted to do with this, you know, if you wanted to just mount it on something um, and you didn't need the bracket, there's a bolt right there. You could take this piece off. But, I mean, this is a very nice ornate piece. It's got um, a good aged patina to it, but still plenty of the original color, which is nice. So, I mean, there's a lot of ways you could take something like that and turn it into an accent in your home. And then I also found these pieces. There's two of them. They also have a bracket on them, but there is a, it's more of a brad. It's not really a, a bolt. Um, but in theory, you could, you know, use your Dremel to just kind of get that off there or cut it down right here. But if you look at this, again, I don't know what it came from. I want to say maybe a light fixture, but you could easily use it to hold a curtain rod right here or anything else. You could also use it to hold, you know, uh, to tie your curtains back uh, if you wanted to do that instead. So there's a pair of those. And again, I have the same really nice color, but the aged quality to it. And then I also had these smaller pieces, which actually, I hope you can see, have bolts at both sides. But, you know, this could also be used as a hook or a curtain tie back or anything along those lines that you wanted to do with it. And again, it's heavy cast metal, probably brass or, you know, has a gold finish on the brass. And it would make a, certainly a, a decorative element for any room that you wanted to use it for. And then I had a few other things. This particular piece is small. I think it probably, if I had to guess, came off a piece of artwork and was used as a, a mounting bracket. But it could certainly work as an accent on a drawer or anything you might want to put it on. And I probably have more of those and I don't know where they are. And then this piece, I'm going to guess, came off a piece of luggage. But it's pretty cool looking in its own right if you wanted to incorporate it into something new. And then this guy here, um, I know, came off a piece of um, mid-century vanity decor of some sort. Probably either a perfume bottle or maybe a larger mirror. But, I mean, again, you could incorporate this in any way into your decor as a new accent piece for something else. So I kind of wanted to talk about architectural salvage because there's a lot of ways in which people can reuse these older items that are now, you know, perhaps either broken or, you know, part of a demolition and reincorporate them into new things. Um, I know that you can use old uh, door frames and window frames as, you know, just make a picture frame from it, you know, cut it down, um, perhaps refinish it, that kind of thing. But they have the cool age to them and the weather look that can really add like instant impact to something that you want to, you know, kind of turn into a piece that has some age and some grace to it. So anyway, um, I hope you learned something here today, and I hope that the examples that I've shown have encouraged you to maybe think outside the box. If you spot objects like this that you're not quite sure what they are and what you do with them, 
you know, if the price is right, you can take them home and experiment with them or show them to people that you know and see if they have any thoughts about it. So I would encourage you to do that, and I thank you for watching.